Well, the time has arrived. My baby is going back to the body shop to have the various items rectified. This here, so that this gap here is no longer horrendous. This here, so that this frame doesn't hit. That is the same on both sides. The same here. They're going to have to modify this. And the same here. They're going to have to modify this so that, again, I don't have a horrendous gap here. Now, I'm sure a lot of you will notice that there is paint flaking off. I'm not worried about that. It's underneath the chrome strip. If they do something with it, wonderful. If they don't, oh well. On the back here, on the boot, there are two blisters that shouldn't have occurred. Um, but in order to rectify all of these problems, I've had to take the chrome off of here, the chrome off of the gutter, my badges off, uh, number plate stuff off, everything off, bumper off, the lot. Now, the truck is on its way to come and pick this up right now. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video, but one of my subscribers, whose name is Martin, also known as Purplebeard, he will comment and tell you why. He has a purple beard. He insisted that it's not a ginger beard. And of course it isn't. And knowing Martin, nothing could be further from the truth. There is no way he's a ginger beard. <laughs> so, um, I am now waiting for my, my, for the truck to arrive to come and take my baby back to the body shop. Wow, it's a sad and wonderful day because it's going to be fixed. It's sad because they're taking my baby away, which does mean, unfortunately for me, fortunately for you, that I'm going to start doing the interior. But first I have to go and purchase a hot knife, some sacking material, uh, burlap, hog rings, hog ring pliers, so that I can start working on the seats. And I guess the first seat I'll do will probably be the driver's seat. But why, Gary, are you doing that one first? Because I'm sitting on it and I won't have to look at the, my fuck up. So, here you go, Martin. This is just for you, because you're such a bitch. And if I ever see you, I'm going to scratch your eyes out. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no controlling me. And he, he's one of those northern people from up north. And I'm a southerner down south. North of Watford, Scotland. South of Glasgow, England. And the bit in between, nobody wants. <laughs> All right, Martin and Dave. This is for you guys. I will try and do some video of the car on the back of the truck. Yeah, this one. Well, they're both red. Yeah, it's this one. It's heavy. I'll give you that. I'll help you push, of course. It does steer. The handbrake works, or the parking brake, whatever you want to call it. Emergency brake. It's got a rigid rear axle. Truck is here. Guy's done a big inspection underneath. I'm not sure what he's deciding on. We will see. Okay, we're getting ready to load her up.
Yeah, isn't this fun? Oh, God, look at my baby. Damn, I love her. This is the tow truck company. Going to take it to the body shop. Hooking her up at the moment. He's using rags and stuff to prevent the hooks from causing any damage. Wow. You must be sweating in that clothes. <laughs> yeah, but I'm more productive. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, you got to be, haven't you? Yeah. Oh man. Sometimes brown burn you. Uh, yeah, that's true enough. I used to have a C3 Corvette. Oh, did you? Yeah, I'm trying to put your hand on the door where you had to push your fingers on the chrome piece. Whoa! I never thought about it. Yeah, you had to be very quick. <laughs> oh yeah, C3 is my favorite. Yeah, I love my Jaguars. I'm addicted. Which is why I have a Jaguar tattoo. <laughs> I'm beyond help. <clears throat> Don't damage that number plate. There she goes. I think you've done this before. Yeah. <laughs> you can't rush him, you know? Yeah. Uh, Corey says you always look after him. Yeah. I like Corey, he's a good guy. Yeah. Put a lot of height on the cars over there. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. If you need me to do something, please say so.
Uh, there she is, ready to go back to the body shop, get the final tweaks done. Probably won't see it for another couple of weeks. Oh man, oh man. All right, I'm gonna end it here. Go get out in that garage. Go do some shit. He's going round now, securing it, making sure everything is good and tight. He's taking great care. I appreciate that. Not that any of you probably live out here, but if you ever need a good towing company, this is one I'd recommend. He is being so careful. I love it. I asked him, as you heard, about his clothes. And he needs to be protected. It's probably about 110 degrees at the moment. So, when you've got a tow truck, that metal is fucking hot. And so is my car. <laughs> Love it. Oh boy. Here's the teaser. This is the driver's seat. The right seat. I'm about to start upholstering it as my baby is now in the body shop. <sighs> this is going to be a bum twitcher. There is no two ways about it. And this is kind of a teaser for you guys because you're not going to see anything in this video apart from the fact that there's a seat frame, there's a seat base. I now have to go and purchase a hot knife to cut the foam. Uh, hog ring tool, hog rings, burlap, and I gotta find some uh, cotton swabbing or whatever you want to call it that goes around. Whoop. Goes around. And a good friend of mine, Martin, in. <laughs> He's in the UK, better known as the UK, suggests that I put two layers of that stuff, uh, the cotton stuff. So the plan is burlap or sacking, uh, cottony stuff around the edge. Cottony stuff over the sacking, maybe, maybe not, not sure. Foam, there may be some more cottony stuff. It helps things fit in better, according to my friend. And he's a bigger expert than I am on this. And we all know what an expert is, don't we? Yes, children, say after me, X. As in has been, spurt being a drip under pressure. But no, in seriousness, he knows a lot more about upholstery than I do. Now, get out in that garage. Go do some shit. <laughs>